All right, guys, different start to this week. It is later in the day on Monday, and I gotta say, I am not liking training later. I've, I've really been enjoying the early training sessions and um, just had a lot going on this weekend and some extra stuff I had to deal with this morning. So getting a later start, but that doesn't mean the work isn't gonna be put in. So we're gonna jump into uh, some squats. I'm gonna get some uh, back toss training in as well. And I'm hoping once I get moving, we'll get into the flow and have a uh, pretty good training session today. Oh. start good start to the week right now I'm working through a progression uh, standing bench press seal row uh, two minute turn so it is effort work uh, which is really important on the standing bench press, but I'm getting the upper back work in as well with the seal row. So I, I've, I've really been liking this combination, these two together and kind of getting some upper back work into the chest press training as well. And I feel like with the week, the way it is, that's what's been fitting well. So I'm gonna keep rolling with it. Uh, and uh, right now it's feeling all right. So we gotta keep it rocking. training there and I had a good session definitely had a good session there uh, today started not exactly the way that I wanted to have the day start I had a couple meetings which I'd be lying if I said they didn't frustrate me really badly and uh, this is what this is what happens right so you know I have a choice to make when that happens and instead of letting it ruin one of my big priority training sessions, I decided to twist it, use it as fuel in here, and it, it, it paid off, right? Like it, it's, it's something where you have to do that a lot. And I'd be lying to you guys if I said it was easy to do all the things that I do, the build up to the Shaw Classic, all of the stuff I have to do for business. It, it very much takes its toll in certain days like today you know, I'm, I'm throwing a few curveballs I've got to deal with and overcome. And this is the behind the scenes. This is the real part of this that I want to show you guys because not every day is going to be easy. Not every day is going to be, oh, it's perfect. I feel great. Everything fell into line. Today's one of those days where I forced it to be perfect. I very much had to come in here, take a couple minutes to myself, get my head straight, get focused on what I needed to do look at the workout and then execute. And that's what I was able to do. So I've finished up now. I have exactly three minutes to somehow figure out how to maybe not be sweaty, but I will be sweaty going into my next, uh, I've got a, a Zoom call. I've got to jump on right now that's a meeting. So 
that person is just going to have to deal with me being sweaty because I had to execute and get the work in here and they will just have to understand that. So I'm going to grab a quick drink and go jump into that meeting. Hi. Sounds going? like an intense one. Uh, yeah. I forwarded that uh, link to your email. Okay, cool. I'm going to jump in. Jump in and make that happen. We are heading out now to actually test the weights of the car deadlift for the Shaw Classic Open. So we've got a men's open, women's open. We're gonna need two different cars and we've gotta get these weights dialed in for their car deadlift for reps. So got the frame in the uh, trailer. We're gonna get up there and uh, figure out what these cars weigh. height measurements and stuff too. Yeah. To send them. How do you know how far to put it in? Well, we're gonna take the measurements so we have it. We'll see if it works. Okay. You excited to see this, man? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's exactly. gonna be crazy. Okay. Try, to, try to do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well let's do it then. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yes. Hi, sorry, Bob. I brought my little brother out here to meet you. Awesome. You're so excited. You're so excited to meet you. What do you got? 581. 581, and you have that zeroed for sure with the... Yep. Okay. We're gonna try to take the bar back slightly and see if we can get it to come down a little bit. Okay. Because I would really like to make this work for the women, so... Okay. What is our goal? I'd say if we could get in the 550 range. Maybe. Okay. And that back of that car comes off. You're clear. Good. Huh. 568. 567. I don't think we can go, go out much more. Well, I don't want it to be bar. too, too much. Yeah. We see how much gas is in it. That's eight pounds per gallon. Yeah. Yeah, it's hundred percent full. Last year we did 500 for reps at 13 inches. This was how much? 16 something 16 17 i mean it's in the range it's it's definitely in the range so if we're if we can get the gas down a little bit yeah maybe we come in at you know 550 and it takes less reps to win so. thank goodness it's only one for the women one for the men yeah so cool. let's get the men's on here and see what we can do awesome. I love it, man. gotta get it Let me know when we're off. Good. Are we off? So seven, 735, 734, 6. So it's another 45 pounds ish? Yeah. So let's just make a note of that. What are we putting? Uh, 730. Bar all the way in. That's important. So the other one is at 15. This one's all the way in. Yep. And 735. So we'll have to add. We'll have to add weight to it, but that's no problem. So basically, one is coming with almost an empty tank, one is coming with a full tank, is all. Yay, but it worked. Perfect, yeah. <sighs> Another thing checked off the list. All right guys, in the gym for deadlift today, and today is one of my priority days this week. I'm working through a progression, which I kind of talked a little bit about in uh, the week one video that we did here where I'm going different bar heights um, and, and building up to hopefully a great Hummer tire deadlift at the Shaw Classic. So uh, today we actually have in the sponsor of the Hummer tire deadlift at the Shaw Classic and it's 4.0 Solutions and FullStrength.ai and they are 
um, doing, I'm going to try to summarize real quick, but basically a vision system that captures every lift and analyzes the data of what the athletes are capable of lifting and really, really breaks it down. Some really neat stuff. So the vision system is actually set up in the gym here and we're going to track my lifting today and then kind of compare it uh, also to the Shaw Classic last year. And I'm really curious to see um, what we're able to come up with. So I like data, I like numbers, and uh, it'll be fun to kind of figure this out. But uh, I'm gonna crank it up and we're gonna have some fun today with Devils. Oh, this is unforgiving, man. Definitely one of my tougher sessions during the week with the uh, deadlift and the power stairs work. Man, that is just brutal, unforgiving, but I know that putting all this hard work in will pay off and that's what it's all about in training. You gotta keep that in your mind, you gotta keep that vision of where you're trying to go very clear and present because it helps you to work through all of the tough spots and when you don't want to maybe do that extra rep or extra set during training that's what you dig into and think about you know i mean with the power stairs my thought process there is how is it going to feel finishing that event last event of the contest standing on top of those stairs and getting the job done you know and that's that's the vision, that's what's clear in my mind, and that's what I think about today, but overall good work, really. You know, deadlift has been, I'm not gonna say frustrating, but I have to trust the process with where I'm going there, working from different heights, and a lot of these heights that I'm working from right now are not my favorite. I don't get as much power there, but building up those spots will, for sure, translate over to what I pull uh, in the contest on the Hummer tire bar. So, you know, I'm keeping that, that clear in my mind. And, you know, like I said before, really, it's uh, very similar to the programming uh, that I put out on the Shaw Elite Club with working on every deadlift height, you know, uh, flipping it with uh, dynamic effort, speed work, uh, staying explosive, staying quick with the poles, engaging tight. Uh, all of those things are gonna work together very well at the contest. That's the end goal and, and uh, I've broken it down and I'm, I'm confident in the plan that I've laid out. So we just gotta execute the training right now so the end, end result can be great. So I'm gonna get cleaned up here. We've got uh, you know, a couple um, meetings, interviews, you know, things to do uh, with 4.0 solutions and uh, we're gonna go over some of the data uh, from my deadlift today as well as the Shaw Classic uh, last year. So I'm intrigued to see what they've got and, and uh, apparently they've made some really big improvements uh, with their software and, and the way that they capture uh, some of these lifts on video. So hopefully I'll learn something as well and, and uh, get better today uh, by having those meetings. So uh, that's the plan and I'm gonna go get that done. The vision system operates in three modes. Mode number one is we can take an old piece of footage and we can run it through the model. Okay. So not live. We can just run it through the model. So just a video. We can just take a video and we can, we can take all old video and run it through the model and we can plot everything. All right. Interesting. Number two, we can plug a camera in mm. and we can run the model on a live stream that's coming through. That's, okay. what, that's what we were going to do, but we can't run it on the, our MacBooks. That's gotcha. why you got to do remote. Number, th number three, this is step three, we will, we will deploy the model to the camera. So the camera that we've picked is an AI camera. Okay. So it has a processor on board that will run our machine learning algorithms okay. just like our computers are running them. Awesome. Okay. What we really care about is that number right there, the velocity. So what, it's, what we'll chart is the velocity, and then we're going to be able to say 
this athlete's got a whatever lift in him. Got him. On that lift. And, and right now it's quite chaotic. If you look at this green dot, that's the approximate centroid of all your arm points. And you, and you I don't know if this shows up, but yeah. it is jittering. Okay. That's what causes the shakiness. Um, basically, the next step is to implement something that controls for that jitter, which is just a product of pretty much every uh, so just says my image imp. pose estimation. It's like your, it's almost like your CG, right? Got it. It's yeah. almost like your center of gravity. Now, yes. if you look at the way you lift, you look at your data relative to other athletes. The, the control of your slope is what stands out. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. In just a moment. So this. You see where our confidence, we're sure we're going up here. Uh, my, my cursor is showing, right? Uh, no, I don't see it. Where, uh, uh, yeah, there you go, yep. Okay, uh, up here, uh, we're very confident you're in our deadlift start position. That's what I think we're gonna do on the data is we're gonna, we're gonna process everything here and send you. Okay. A, I wanted to show you everything live, but because we no, can't run it on the. Yeah. So we'll process everything and send it to you. That's okay. interesting. And, and that way you can look even including this workout. I love it. Okay. I love it. And then what would be really cool is if we could compare what we've calculated on velocity to what the you, you're you're pulling off of the device. Interesting. That yeah, would be yeah. if we could compare the two. That 100%. would be awesome. Well, I wrote I wrote it all down. So yeah. yeah. All right. Perfect. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. All right, Brian. Thanks. Love man. it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. different setup on log today as you can see I've got uh, got these hanging off the end of the log which when I clean it up they're swinging and I have to stabilize that and wait for them to kind of get centered to press so I'm having to engage really hard and and obviously stabilize so that's what I'm trying to work on today I feel like at the top of the clean if I can be patient and get tight like that, this is without a doubt going to be harder than the logs that we'll have uh, at the contest. And this is just something I've thrown into the mix uh, as an experiment. I've never seen anybody do it. I came up with it in my head, just sometimes I think up uh, different training modalities, and this is one of them. So we'll see how long I'll keep it in the rotation in the build up here to the contest. But uh, so far it's been pretty good and uh, it's making me work hard, which I love. of the clean you're in the arena with everything open getting your getting your balance is just a little bit harder when you're there just waiting so just having a little little bit extra pause with these things I think will carry over big how are you going to choose between five different sets of dumbbells for standing dumbbell press. Well, I feel like it's only logical to give them all some love. No. One set this, one set that. What sometimes needs to happen during training, come over and do a little bit of shopping, grabbing some training blend today. We also have a regular hot, cool weather, and all of these shirts, everything else in the store, all of it's available at shawstrength.com. I'm gonna go pop this open and train some stones.
definitely feel heavier than they should. That is for sure, but it's fun to touch them a little bit and uh, they will only get easier from here. That is for sure. Stones are always a good indicator of the training week to me. And I know when I'm touching the stones and they feel a little bit heavier, I've done a good job of working harder during the week and you know stones if they if they felt super easy and i felt super fresh at this point probably means that i'm not training hard enough during the week so i was use that as a little bit of a gauge uh toward the end of the week here finishing up the training session and, and uh seeing how i feel with the with the stones but uh yeah those always always will feel heavier in uh training and much much lighter when it comes to the contest so Happy with that, happy to touch them. And uh, yeah, I've got to get, uh, get cleaned up and uh, get some work done around the house now. All right guys, just finished up some training and now it is time to get some mowing done. So I'm hopping on the tractor. I actually got this tractor from my uncle's estate. He passed away a little bit over a year ago now. So I actually get a tremendous amount of I'm going to call it uh, joy from mowing, let alone the time out here, but just I, I feel like driving this tractor, um, you know, obviously reminds me of my uncle and, and uh, special to me. So we're going to get it fired up and uh, I'm going to get to work and see how much of this I can get done this afternoon. I'll probably have to finish a little bit tomorrow, but uh, yeah, we're going to get to it. Yeah. 